What's going on guys? This is Goofy Goop the Balls, bringing you guys some Black Ops 3 where we're going to talk about how Overclock works in this game. So I'd recently started doing my own testing to sort of figure out the charge times for specialists and how Overclock affects them, but then somebody went ahead and posted on Reddit all the specific times for each game mode. So those numbers are pretty much in line with the numbers I started to find. So I'm just going to put a link to that down below and I'm going to walk you through how that all works and how Overclock works in this game. So the base game modes are team deathmatch and free for all. So in these game modes, each specialist has its own specific set charge time. Then for each other game mode that's not team deathmatch or free for all, there's a charge time multiplier to make it take longer to charge that ability in that specific game mode. So for example, the domination multiplier is 1.65. So you take the time it takes to charge your specialist ability in team deathmatch or free for all and multiply it by 1.65 and that's how long it'll take you to charge it in domination and then you just do that for every other game mode and that time is calculated by just having the person stand still and let their ability charge but in game this isn't realistically how you're going to get your specialist you're going to get score which helps build your specialist and the numbers found in this reddit post are that one score is equal to about 0.24 seconds of charge time but i found it to be about 0.25 so to put that in simpler terms, if you get 100 points in game, that'll take 25 seconds off your charge time. So for example here, if we look at the Vision Pulse Outrider Specialist ability in Team Deathmatch Free For All, it normally takes 4 minutes to charge, which is 240 seconds. And then using the numbers in this Reddit post, since 100 score takes 24 seconds off of our time, if we divide 240 by 24, we get 10. So we get 10 and multiply that by 100 score. So if we get a thousand score in Team Deathmatch or Free For All, when we have no charge ability whatsoever, that will instantly charge the Vision Pulse Specialist ability in those game modes. So now all Overclock does is reduce the charge time you're going to need for your Specialist by 25%. So again, looking at the Vision Pulse Outrider in Team Deathmatch, it's usually 4 minutes, but if you use Overclock, it'll only be 3 minutes, which is 25% less. So if we go back to the score equation, instead of requiring a thousand score to get our specialist with no charge it'll only take us 750 score with no charge so now the proper way to use this information is not to just look at the times and say oh well this game mode is eight minutes long and the specialist normally takes four minutes to charge so i'll get it twice no because you're always getting score in game you'll always earn those specialist abilities faster so the proper way to do it is to take your score per minute and calculate that with these times and sort of figure out about how many times you'll get it per game with and without overclock. And that's exactly what I'm going to do for you guys. I'm going to take each of these tables from Reddit and sort of add a few more columns for a, say 300 score per minute player and see about on average how much adjusted time it'll take to get each specialist so you have a much better idea of how many times you'll get it per game and how often you'll get it. So to keep going with the Vision Pulse example, since it normally takes 4 minutes to earn 4,000 score like the math we've done, that means every minute by doing nothing, I'm technically getting 250 points towards my specialist. And now assuming I'm a 300 score per minute player, I'm also getting those 300 score every minute. So every minute I'm really getting 550 score towards my specialist. And then since it's 1,000 total, if I do 1,000 divided by 550, I'll get about 1.8, which I multiply by 60 seconds, which gets me about two minutes to actually earn my specialist in game. And so that's all I've done with all these numbers here. I just do it for each game mode with and without overclock. And these are the results. I'll show you them all here. So I know there's a lot of game modes and abilities. So I'll put up all the results here pretty quickly. And go ahead and pause the video if you're looking for a specific mode or specialist. Or you want to look at the charts a little more in depth. But that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this and understand how overclock works a little bit better now. If you guys did enjoy, I'd love if you could hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more Call of Duty tips and tricks. And if you guys have any questions about this, feel free to leave a comment down below. This has been Goofy Goop the Balls, and I'll catch you all in the next video.